What's good, what's good guys? It's Kitten here again today, just playing more Phantom Forces, trying to get some content roll, and, and sweet, I just unlocked the M4 attachment right when I start, that's fantastic. So today's topic's gonna be a little bit different, it's gonna be my, about my job that I work at. If you guys don't know how old I am, or who, what I work at, I'm 17 years old, call me a loser for playing Roblox at 17, but I like the game, I've been playing it since 2008. It's a game that I can't just really grasp the addiction off of, so... You know, it's it's kind of a childhood memory for me to be playing this game, so call me a loser if you want. I can care less what you think. But, um, yep, so, oh my god. I work at a, uh, I recently got a job at a fast food store in America. Some of you guys may know this place as Subway. It's a place that sells, uh, subs. That's about it. You can also order pizzas from there, you know? Like, I've never really seen anyone that's ordered pizzas, but if you order pizzas and I'm in the store there, I'm gonna hate you. I'm gonna hate you forever. And I don't know why I just stopped clicking. Some guy's trying to snipe me, so I'm trying to get the cover. So let's talk here. Um, what I like about working at Subway and what I hate about it. Okay, so here comes up. Subway is a pretty easy job, and it's been said by many other people. It's so easy, and it's a lot less stressful than working at McDonald's or something, because McDonald's isn't nearly... 100% almost always busy. Like, there's no way you won't get a job, like a time at Subway, and not, I mean, McDonald's where it's not busy. Or this applies to, like, Burger King or anything else, too, because they are open almost all day, and it's just busy. Subway's a little different, and it's just, like, the only times you'll be really busy is through lunch rush, which is, like, 12 to 2. That's the lunch rush hours. And once it ends from there, you just generally just sit in your phone and clean. That's about it. It's so easy. I don't understand why anyone wouldn't get a first job there. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, the job's easy. I like it. It's easy as hell. Just some good pocket cash. It's not rolling in a huge amount of money. I'm making minimum wage from doing it. That's why I have some free time just to make this uh, channel and other types of channels. I like it and just play some Roblox. Because I'm also homeschooled. I don't do much during the week. I uh, just found high school stupid and just started to do homeschool because I could not take it to I could not put up with the teacher's crap anymore. That's going to be in another video for another time though. Um, what I hate about my job, there's, the thing about Subway is there's nothing to really hate about it. It's your coworkers. That's the only thing that makes the job worth it. Like if you have a good coworker or a good person that you're working with, like if it, and that really makes the entire job. Like if your coworker is bad, you're gonna have a bad time. Like I hate bringing the Undertale quotes out, but that's just the truth. You're gonna have a terrible time with a bad coworker. This also applies to like any fast food chain or any job in general. That's how it works. But if they're good and they're chill, you can make some new friends from doing that. However, this this girl that I work with just literally pushes my buttons 24/7. I'm gonna talk about her. I'm not gonna mention names because I don't. I respect people's privacy, and I don't like get, like calling their name out because people are people in the internet. They like to put people's info out. I don't like doing that. So this girl I work with, she's 25, and she her kid is 11, and she's 25 years old. So first, connect the dots there. Not that this has anything to refer to do with being a bad person, but that's that's pretty rough in my opinion to have a kid at 14. Like that's just rough. Also, um. The girl is, like, I can't really define her anyway without calling her any curse words, because I try to, like, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to, like, uh, make my channel not, like, just full of curse words. I'm trying to watch my language a little bit, because I am a sailor mouth, so I can't describe her in any way without wouldn't sound offensive, so that's basically it. She's super mean, she's super icky, you know, the person you wouldn't really want to work with at a, any job. So this is my experience with her. I've only worked with her once so far, and I don't want to work with her again. So the backstory to this was that I was working with a coworker of mine, and she was complaining that this that this girl is a total, you know, she's just mean, terrible to work with. And I was like, I'm a pretty fair person to work with. I'm just like, eh, I don't think she'll be that terrible because I like, I generally get along with most people. Like, I'm the chillest subway employee you would ever meet, and also I'm just trying to make sure I don't die. I'm like the most laid back subway employee you don't meet. Like I don't I don't stick up to the customers, you know? Like I don't like just do all that crap like, Welcome to Subway, how can I help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here you go. Have a good day. I'll just go like if someone walks in my store, I'm gonna be straight up. I'm gonna just be like, What's up? Welcome to Subway, what can I get you? That's it. You don't have to kiss their ass. Like I'm sorry for cursing, but that's the truth. Like you don't have to do that. 
Like, I, I don't do that, at least unless the manager's around, because I'm kind of forced to. I have, like, a gun to the back of my head if I do. If, if I don't do that, then she's going to, like, call me out on it. But my manager's not bad. My assistant manager isn't bad either. They're just... They're just managers. You know, that's it. <laughs> they just do their thing. And... She is the problem. So... She was complaining about how she's a terrible person. I was like, oh, she's probably not too terrible, right? So then I come into work, and I have to... I leave normally... I work normally 12 to 4, because I do weekend shifts. And Friday, I work 4 to 9. And Saturday, 12 to 4, and Sunday, 12 to 4. That's my normal shifts. And this day, Saturday, we had a new girl came in, and she was like, oh, um, hey, I have to go pick up my kids from the airport. Can you uh, take over for me? for the next three hours or so before I can come back. And obviously, I'm not going to tell this girl, like, no, screw your kids. I'm just going to go home and let your kids stay at the airport. Like, that's just mean. I'm not that type of person, man. So I obviously take the bullet for this girl and let her go because I don't want her to deal with the wrath of this, like, really mean girl. So I take the bullet for her, let her go pick up her kids. She leaves. And then I wait an hour, like an hour until she gets in from to her job. And she takes her sweet time getting there because she's, like, 15 minutes late. So then she comes finally after an hour of waiting, and she's just, the first thing she says, like, are you ready to work? And I've been working the whole day, so I'm kind of just like, yeah, I guess. So she, we do a thing called pre-closing. Any fast food store does this, or any place that works in food does this thing called pre-closing. Pre-closing is a thing where, obviously, a pre-close. You pre-close the store. You make sure everything is stocked. You make sure everything is clean. You make sure everything is done basically. And then the closer just closes the store, sets the alarm, and exits the place. So, she's also a pre-closer and a closer. But however, she made me do, like, all of the work. And there's the thing. She, there, she's just totally mean about everything. She would not be, she'd be stern about every single point she was trying to make. Like, she's like, oh, I've been working at Subway for 10 years, so therefore I'm, I know more than you. I'm just like, in my head, I'm just thinking, like, how do you work at the same job, like, minimum wage for 10 years, man? <laughs> like, I I know some people that are in that situation, because personally, they can't really get out of it, but come on, man. Like, after 10 years, you, you should be able to get out of that. Like, that's just rough. And then, she, here's the thing that happened that generally made me hate her and wanted to go home. She... We have the sauce bottles, like, you know, the little mustard ketchup, uh, brown mustard, some vinaigrette, some oil and vinegar. Like, it's just these little bottles, these big bottles that are next to the meats and cheeses and stuff. So then we had to fill them. She was like, hey, can you fill these? And I was like, okay, cool. So I go to the back. I open up these little packets from a the cooler, these obviously prepackaged sauces. And then I'm just like, okay, well, I'm finishing doing it. And then I realize that there's not, there, it's not filled to the top. And then, she's, I'm just like, okay, well, since it's filled pretty much partially to the top, and it's like, I'm not even kidding, guys, there's like barely a scrap left of this thing before it's filled to the top, right? So, when I'm done, I'm just like, I don't really care, I mean, it's gonna be used throughout the rest of the day anyway, and then probably the next day, too, without being filled, so I don't think it'll be that much of a big deal, right? Wrong, because when I come out there, she just, she hawk-eyed those sauces, like, I'm not kidding, she made sure I filled those things, and then I show them to her, she goes off. Like, I'm not kidding. She throws a huge temper tantrum and just goes like, oh, you're supposed to fill them to the top. I don't know what's going through your head. That's what she said all the time. I don't know what's going through your head. And I'm just like, I don't know what's going through your head. Like, here's the thing. If you want to correct me on something, you don't have to be mean about it. Like, you can just go like, okay, well, kitten, here's the thing. You need to fill the sauces to the top as opposed to just uh, filling them to the near the top. They just, they just go back to the back and fill them up, okay? I would have just been like, okay, cool, that's totally fine. You don't have to be, like, uptight about it and just totally stern and mean about it. So then she comes to the back, continues to yell at me still, just totally yelling at me for no reason. And here's the thing, I can't talk back to this girl, because she is the shift manager, and if I say anything to her, I basically, am, I'm, she can tell me literally to just go home, and then she'll tell the manager on me, and then I'll be treated like I'm the bad guy, and I can get fired. Here's the thing, guys, I don't really care if I get fired for my job, like, it's a freaking minimum wage job, I can get another one in, like, five minutes. But, I, I don't want to get fired and have that on my resume anyway, or just on my record, but I just, I just don't want to put up with people like that, man. I don't, I don't work at a job, or at any job at that. Any job that you work at, you don't deserve to be treated like crap. And then she also continued to complain to me, like, you know, hey, you're supposed to clean out the sinks or something. When I was trying to, like, uh, fill the... 
I was trying to um, load up the bread for tomorrow so that we would have more bread to use in the store. Because if you don't have any bread, you can't make sandwiches. That's a bit more important than cleaning the sinks. So then when she comes back, she's like, I've told you three effing times to clean the sinks. Why haven't you done it yet? So then I kind of, like, replied, just like, I've been busy doing other stuff. And then she just goes off again. So then I'm just like, Ugh. And keeps me 45 minutes past my closing. I'm supposed to leave at 7. I stood there till 7.45 because apparently I was being too slow and I didn't get anything done. Even though I did get all of it done and she took 30 minutes, two 30 minute breaks for a smoke break so she can go outside and take a cigarette break so she could talk to her kid or something and just go back inside. Like, are you kidding me? You can't be doing that. Like, just making me do all the work and then just going outside to smoke and talk to your kid? Like, get the hell out of here, man. That's stupid. I'm not gonna put up with that crap. So then, we got like four people complaining about her. We got all four of my co-workers complaining about her. And she'll obviously treat the managers and stuff all nice and iffy because they, you do crap to them, they'll, they'll like, you know, fire you. So, she's just totally kissing them. And I'm just, like, sitting here just like, oh my god, kill me. And she'll just, like, I don't know how else to elaborate on her. She's just super mean. She's just not fun to work with. Yeah, just, here's my tip to you guys if you're watching this and you want to work in fast food or something, any type of retail job, please treat your coworkers with respect because you don't know what's going on in their life. And that's, you could, they could really be at a breaking point. I nearly was at a breaking point with this girl. I was about to yell at her and tell her to, like, F off and just walk out because I could not put up with this girl like i i'm a pretty chill dude and that was terrible but i'm a pretty chill guy with my emotions i don't generally blast off at people but she was close like she, i don't i'm not that type of guy i'm not the guy to like go like oh f you all this type of stuff and just start yelling in public but she she is the first person to almost make me do that and i literally almost cried when it came home because i was just so done with it and that's about it guys it's just crappy co-workers man they suck and that's all I have for this video, really. Just, I'm gonna repeat my failures again that I had a few minutes ago. Just please, if you're gonna work in a fast food job, any type of job in general, or just anything, please treat your coworkers with respect, because they deserve it. They are going there to get money just like you are, and they aren't there to get yelled at by some arrogant person. So while she goes home with her, like, 11-year-old kid, and she still lives with her mom, too. She's, like, 25 years old, and just living with her mom with her 11-year-old kid, and it's obviously she made some poor life decisions, so I'm just like, okay, well, I'm not going to treat her too terribly because I don't really want to set her buttons off. She's obviously had a pretty troubled life, and plus she's also, she probably comes in high to work too. Everyone's, there's a rumor going around that she does go in high to work because she comes in all the time with these, there's like a thing that happens when you get really high, like off of drugs or like weed or anything, that your eyes get really, really red. And she comes into work every day with her eyes really red. And obviously, you can't smoke or do drugs on the job. That would be stupid. But here's the thing about Subway, at least the Subway I work at, they don't do drug tests. And that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Like, So that just basically opens this place up for potheads to work at it. So like, I don't want to be working with some stoner. Like, I mean, I probably have, but like, I don't want to be working with people like that. I want to be working with people like me. People that will actually get their job done and not just like sit around and just be a loner and just get paid for basically doing nothing but yeah that's all i have guys please uh leave a like on this video feel free to leave a subscribe if you'd like i just had to vent on this topic because it's just been bothering me for the past few days and i've had nothing really else to talk about but just i have to go into work tomorrow and i have to deal with the same girl so by all means wish me luck and oh man but yeah, peace out guys. I'm going to continue killing these people while you guys proceed to leave my channel or watch my other videos. Anyway, peace.